the chairman of the board, swerving in the four. Game sharp like George Gerben with the sword. I ain't the one to ignore. Ryan Garcia, Javante Davis. Who is the bigger superstar? Instagram versus pay per view. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Cardinal Red, Cardinal Red Sports. Let's talk about it. All right, so a lot going on surrounding the Ryan Garcia, Javante Davis fight. Everybody blaming the other side for why it's not happening. Seems almost like a deja vu of what went on with Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence Jr. Only in boxing. <laughs> Only in boxing does this happen. This doesn't happen in other sports. You know, if you're an MMA fan, you don't have to wait a year, two years, three years for your favorite fighter to take on his biggest rival. You know, it only happens in boxing, not in basketball, football, baseball. None of these other sports does this stuff get drug out this long. And I want to kind of try to break down why this might be. Is it because one guy is more famous than the other guy? Is that the problem? Is that everybody wants to be the A-side? Everybody wants to be Death Row. <laughs> Y'all remember when Death Row was running the game? Everybody wanted to be down with Suge and Pac and Snoop. You know, everybody wanted to be death row at that moment. So, in boxing, everybody wants to be death row. Everybody wants to be the A-side. Everybody wants to be the biggest draw. Nobody wants to be the most talented, you know. And I think Javante Davis is the most talented guy in boxing. You know, I, I guess it could be argued. You could argue that it might be Earl or Terrence or Shakur or Devin. And you can say, well, maybe he's just the best guy at 130, 135. But I think he's the most talented fighter in boxing at this moment. His poise is ridiculous. And I, I don't think he's getting enough praise for how calm he is in the ring. But when it comes to being a superstar, when it comes to being the A-side, and when it comes to controlling a fight, you know, why is that a major factor? You know, I don't, I don't really understand. I never understood the whole Floyd Mayweather a side b side conversation when he was the first one to really introduce that to boxing now it's just a big mess because nobody wants to fight their biggest rival and they use the a side b side conversation and the fame and who's more popular you know as a tool to not have to fight somebody and when you look at ryan garcia and javante davis i think there's a big disparity going on because i think ryan garcia fans feel like he's more popular and more famous because of his instagram following and javante davis fans think that he's more popular more famous because he actually sells boxing tickets <laughs> Listen, nobody's selling pay-per-views at a high rate anymore. It's just not happening in boxing. There's way too many ways to watch these fights for free. As a, as a boxing fan, I actually don't mind it because I think fans have gotten screwed over for so many years that until they figure out a way to fix that, I think fans deserve some free fights. You know, uh, the whole PBC free fight model that they were doing on, on free TV, you know, on basic cable TV. Actually, I don't even think it was basic cable. It was just free TV because it was on Fox. And uh, so you could watch those fights for free. I didn't like it at first because I felt like that they were giving away, you know, superstar fights and high caliber fights that, should, that could actually be paid for. And it was going to ruin the the whole model a few years down the line and bob Arum said that same thing and to be honest with you he was right but at the end of the day i feel like you know fans kind of deserve some of these free fights because we have gotten screwed out of our money several times and hey what goes around comes around but <laughs> When it comes to pay-per-view numbers, and nobody's really selling high pay-per-views, so you can't sit here and tell me that Ryan Garcia deserves something special because he might have done 150,000 buys, you know, on his last fight or his last couple of fights, and Javante Davis only did 80,000, but Javante Davis completely sold out an arena. You know, you can't deny that. It's the same goes for Terrence Crawford. 
you can't deny the fact that he sold out that arena, even though he didn't do no numbers on pay-per-view. They did millions of dollars from the gate, so it is what it is. Javante Davis, you know, has a big fan base. Javante Davis gets people to come to his, to his fights, and it's very entertaining to watch. Javante Davis isn't a big pay-per-view star at this point, but his name is one of the biggest in the sports of boxing. So, I don't understand why people would think that Ryan Garcia is a bigger fighter or a bigger name in the sport because of Instagram fame. We have to be honest with ourselves. Instagram fame is, is kind of easy to come by because most people become Instagram famous cheating anyway. It's the same thing on YouTube. Most of these channels, they've cheated their way to the top. They either brought their subscribers or they're paying for botted views and it is what it is you know i don't blame them you want your channel to look legit so you're gonna do things to make your channel look more legit and like you have a bigger audience it's the same thing on instagram people buy followers it's cheap to buy followers and it's not illegal for some reason i don't know <laughs> why not but it's cheap to buy followers when you look a certain way women are going to follow you in droves so you know i can't sit here and say that ryan garcia's instagram following makes him a bigger boxing superstar than javante davis because he has you know five six ten or whatever it is a million followers on instagram if that's not equating to pay-per-view buys if you're not getting a million pay-per-view buys per fight what does that instagram following even matter you know it's the same thing on youtube people tell me or used to tell me all the time man you deserve a bigger audience you deserve a bigger this i'm like man half of these people watch me because they hate me <laughs> the other half watch me basically because they want to down my conversations you know they don't they don't want me to say the things i'm saying they want me to go the route that everybody's going and you know that's like five percent of people to watch me because they actually like the content they like the channel <laughs> so you know i know the ratios i can look at my comment section and see who shows up every day and who gives good comments and who's just here to troll and say crazy stuff because you're going against their favorite fighter you know it's just it's the same thing when it comes to those boxers man i just feel like at the end of the day that instagram fame and actual boxing fans tuning in to watch your fights even though they're not paying for the pay-per-views listen man nobody's really making money right now everything's down nobody can make no money right now except for big corporations because of the the what's going on in the world and sometimes i feel like they did it on purpose <laughs> it just is what it is so i would never say that ryan garcia is a bigger superstar because he sells more pay-per-views or that his instagram following makes him a better fighter than javante davis the proof is in the pudding javante davis has all the talent his knockout ratio speaks for itself and fans tune in because he's extremely entertaining now how's this all gonna play out I, you know i really don't know if i was javante davis i would walk away from all this before he ends up looking silly like Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence. And they don't realize how much damage they're doing to, to their own career trying to drag these things out. If these people don't want to sign the contracts, or if these people don't want to agree, move on. There's still better fights to be made. Javante Davis, Ryan Garcia isn't the best fight that could be made at 130, 135. You know, you don't have to drag this on forever. Even though the payday might be good. I would, I would hope that boxers in the future would start doing things for the love of the sport and the history books and, and their legacy and not just because these people are throwing tens and millions of dollars at you at, you know, at a time. You know, doing things for money definitely can ruin your legacy, you know, and there's been plenty of athletes out there that will tell you that, you know, I took the wrong path because of money. Once again, don't let Instagram fame fool you. Ryan Garcia is very Instagram famous, but Ryan Garcia is not as, as talented as Javante Davis. And I feel like all of this just proves that fact. You know, the same thing with the Terrence Crawford Earl Spence situation. One guy keeps talking about it. The other guy keeps sending you a contract saying, let's get it on. 
Listen, Javante Davis is more talented. He's got all the skill. He's the real draw in this fight. And whatever he dictates in, in the fight, that's what that's the way it should go. You know, forget about the A side, B side. He it just is what it is, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about all that down in the comment section below. Hit that like button for me. Sure, sure, sure. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Holler at me on all social media platforms. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. More than likely to get a response on the tube. So holler at me over there. If you want to collab, hit my Gmail. Fock of cards at gmail.com. And we are not in. Uh, look, one blunt, two blunts, three blunts, four blunts. Now I'm high in a bitch. Nigga, one bird, one fifth, I'm nerd. Yo, chick, now I'm high in your bitch. And I'ma submit, you looking real thick in that fit. Soon as you leave, I walk up gripping the hips. Have a flip in the script, convince her to strip. You at home shooting free throws, flicking your wrist. But hold up, don't let me get ahead of myself. If you really want to better your health, getting out of my area helps. With these young niggas, carry your melt, your whole flick. She swallowed the whole dick. Oh, shit. Now let me slow down, cause I'm off the head to roll now. They didn't know, I bet they know now. I rep the hometown, Lewis Keys, nigga, let's go. Let's go, let's go. I'm nigga, let's go. My H10 nigga, let's go. Louisville, let's go. Nigga, let's go. Let's go, nigga, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yo, we sorta like NASCAR Had these niggas take wheels off of fast cars We not right About to shine like Dan dripping neon lights Know you feel the shit that we on right I got your bitch and she's on pipe Taking pictures of herself And if you're really slanging, you're snitching on yourself So look at it that way While I'm looking at your rat from the back way Then I'm looking for a black and an ashtray